Hello, my name is Carx82, and welcome back to my Craig Tech New Horizon series. Now, I have done a bunch of crafting in between episodes here, and I think it's finally time to go ahead and get the uh, the um, bronze boiler built. So, as we can see, lots of different things here, and I think I got everything. It does seem There we go, we got that. Uh, boiler I have not built yet, but I should have everything, yeah. So I do have everything except for that. And there is the large bronze boiler. And there we go. Now, block of double compressed charcoal. Yeah, I think I'll take that. Oh, well, we get both anyway. So that's nice. Once you have a GT boiler, I'll have to look into this because um, we can use a comparator on the tank and then it can tell the machine to turn on and off. So I will have to look into that. That could be something cool um, to possibly do. I'm not very good at redstone. So I don't know about that, but um, double compressed charcoal is a thing I did not realize was I didn't realize that was a thing. And if I look at this, there is even triple compressed coal coke and all sorts of stuff. So maybe I will uh, compress some of this stuff. I'll just kind of have this going. Um, I'm assuming it just goes in a compressor. Yeah. And then, does it get compressed again after that? Let's see. Where's the... Yeah, compressed. Yeah, you just keep putting it back, and then... Yeah. All right, so that's kind of cool. Now, um, I'll sleep one more time, I guess. Uh, so hopefully... I probably won't be sleeping as much... Uh, once I get this boiler up, because I'm not going to have to worry about the solar as much. Um, but I I'm having a bit of an issue trying to decide where I want to build this. Um, I kind of want to have it in here. And then kind of have the steam feed out. But uh, bef I'll have to kind of test that, I think, in between episodes. Because it may take me a little while to kind of... Uh, craft up because I don't have enough steel and all sorts to get the steam over here But I may move like this to here and then have the steam pipe coming along maybe um, But the problem is I have I'm like feeding this into here. I have steam coming out the bottom being fed into so I'd have to like move everything and I don't want to quite do that um, while I am recording um, but the other option, if we put the chunk boundaries on, you should always do uh, the multi-blocks in one chunk. Otherwise, sometimes if you build across boundaries, half of it will like unload and you could cause issues like explosions and stuff. Um, so the other option is through here and then piping the steam into here um, as kind of a temporary measure. So I think... I think that's what I may do. Um, I do want to build out another room back here. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I haven't entirely decided the best place for this, but I think I will put it in that room eventually. I just need to, uh, I want to get it built so I can. Stop worrying about it so much now. I'm going to be kind of jumping back and forth to that. Okay, so the boiler we have, let's see. So I want, it doesn't really matter which way it faces. 
Um, but the steam needs to come out here, so maybe... I don't know. I could maybe just extend this, but I didn't really want just one massive square building. I thought, you know, if I had kind of like separate rooms, it would look more like a factory as opposed to just like a large warehouse with blocks in it. Um, but I guess, let's see, it's three, but it's a three by three structure. And if we have the pipe going through there, maybe have it maybe there, just kind of temporary. I don't know. This has no electricity in it, but I don't know if it's gonna would explode. Um, if it's in the rain, I don't think so. But uh, I might want to put a kind of cover over it just in case. All right, so to build this, we need a, actually, let's do that last. So I need a input bus, which will be where I put my fuels. I need a input hatch, which is where I put the water. I guess I'll put that there. I need a muffler hatch which the pollution will come out of. And the other reason I kind of want to have it in a different chunk is for the pollution aspect of it. Um, since I'm in this a lot, I don't really want this to be my polluting this chunk. So if I had it over here, um, that'd be another reason. So that's um, another consideration I have to think about here. I'm compressing this so I can use it in the the thing, by the way. That's why I keep doing that. All right, and then we have the maintenance hatch, which is pretty normal. I guess we'll put that right there. And then I need these firebox casings. Then the bronze pipe casings. I need three of those up the middle and a lot of this stuff is just a lot of bronze like these are just six bronze and then some bricks uh, the firebox casings is just um, like bronze plates bronze rods which are, these are more rods so uh, just a lot of bronze I think I went through about four stacks of bronze ingots so keep that in mind if you are looking to build this. And then we just surround this. Actually, oops, where did my, there it is. Yeah, these need a wrench to break. The output hatch will probably go there. The output hatch can't go on the bottom layer, unfortunately, so that's 100% ideal here. But then we just cover everything else up, and then this is a solid layer at top. Now, I wish I could put the muffler hatch at the top, but the muffler hatch has to go down at the bottom. All right, so we did build everything. Everything is formed correctly here. And then as we can see, we have the different issues with the, the maintenance issues. And let's see. So I'm trying to remember it is Wire cutters, I think. Hammer. I'm going to put my hammer. Crowbar, the soldering iron. And we need some soldering alloy materials. The fine wires work. 
Um, but you can use a whole ingot, but I can get 16 of these from like one ingot, I think. Or is it? No, it's eight. I get eight of these from one ingot. So, and each of these count as one time. Uh, screwdriver. I feel like I'm missing something. Um, so, wire cutter, crowbar, screwdriver, hammer, soft mallet, and then the soldering alley, which is charged. And then it uses one of those and 10,000 EU. I have used that before. I don't know why that didn't register before. Uh, pipe is loose. Oh, that is a wrench. Right, I think. Wrench. Yeah, so everything is fine. We got a boiler. Now we got to input water into this and for that, and once again, this is kind of a temporary location. I have, let's turn this off really quick. I have crafted up the reservoir and it's actually wasn't too difficult. Just the stainless steel was kind of the I had to wait for the stainless steel to craft. All right, so let's put that away. Yeah, I may need that again. I think we're good. So for this now, reservoir, and I kind of want to have this attached to this as well. Um, but I'm just going to kind of throw it down. Didn't I have another bucket? Yeah, there it is. I don't know why that was like disappear. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to throw this here. And we put two buckets in. And that will, there is the infinite water source. Now we can actually auto output this. Actually, let me light this up here. Oh, and this is, that would have been bad during a, uh, a blood moon. So I need a Yetta wrench to uh, auto output that water. I could put a pump on it if I wanted to, but it's easier just to do a, a Yetta wrench. And I don't think it's difficult to make. No. Oh, it does need electrical steel though. So that's a thing. Electrical steel is just like carbon and steel though, isn't it? Electrical steel. Blast furnace, yeah, electrical steel, oxygen, yeah, relatively easy. It does take six minutes though, or it takes a while. So silicon, steel, and coal, and I get two each. I get two per craft, and I need five plus four, I need nine. So I need five crafts. So that five silicon, I can hear a Enderman. Five silicon. Five steel and five coal, was it? I already forgot. <laughs> that Enderman distracted me. Um, then I can just masterate these down. Um, question is electrical steel. Is it, do I get a better ratio if I put it in a mixer? Which the answer is yes. So I actually don't need to do as much. I need, I need nine. Does it have to be? Nope, it can be done in that one too. All right, so three steel, 
right, three coal, three steel, and three silicon. And there we go. There is our electric dust. Fortunately, I override that. I'm sure I will use that again at some point. Um, I'll put that in there. All right. Almost done with those. All right, so electrical steel. And then this should just go in here. And there we go, it's turned on. So let me wait till this gets crafted up. Um, it's gonna be about, yeah, six minutes. Um, everything is running. I, I did take out the other uh, energy hatch because this was overclocking. And I'm sure there is a way to have it not overclock, but I don't know. Like, is there upgraded overclocks reduced? No, it just says, yeah. I don't know if there's any way to, like, force it to not, like, if we put a program circuit in here. I'm using that as a storage <laughs> for that. Um, but I don't know if there's a way to stop it from overclocking um, as we upgrade the things. But anyway, let me wait for this stuff to craft up, and we will be back. I have gone ahead and crafted the Yetter wrench, and I am just um, getting some wrought iron dust here for the steel. Yeah, I am short on oxygen. I'm going through oxygen like crazy, crafting steel and um, all sorts of stuff. The electrical steel used a bunch. Now, I did notice, I just wanted to show this off, this Spessartine in the Advanced Electrolyzer actually is a pretty good uh, recipe here because it gets you silicon, uh, what does it get? Silicon, lithium, and I can't remember, but it gets you a lot of oxygen. I think it gets you 12 oxygen. Yeah, so 12 oxygen, 3 silicon, 3 manganese, which is the reason I was doing it for stainless steel, and then aluminum. Um, so that is a really good source of oxygen right now. The best, the easiest is just to have my electrolyzer running, but um, I don't... Do I have any more? I do. I'm going to wait... For that I think that hopefully will be will that be enough oh, I don't know if that's gonna be enough where did all my where did my cells go I don't remember where I put them um, but you might have seen in this one I crafted a bunch of large steel fluid cells and put nitrogen in them um, because I still haven't put a the line over to feed this with nitrogen yet. Uh, I haven't done that. Um, all right, so I need a bit more. And we're out of steam. We're out of everything here. Oxygen, all sorts of stuff. Um, I'm trying to think of what is an easy way to get oxygen. So I'd need about 60 of these, I think I figured out. Uh, maybe magnetite. Didn't really want to use magnetite, but... Alright, I'll just... I should just go... That'll give me 12 more. This might actually be enough, now that I'm thinking about it. I guess I'll just throw that in there. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so this Yetta wrench, we um, go over here. And I have filled the thing with the water. And then all I have to do is, like if we look at the Input hatch, 
just right click it, you'll get the little arrow, which means it's on output mode, and then it is filling up the hatch with water. And then I have tested this in a test world, and I had this uh, filling a bronze boiler and a tungsten steel boiler from the same thing, and it did it no problem. Um, so they will never, there's no fear of it running out of water at this point. Um, just double check. Yep, I did this all in one chunk, <laughs> right on the edge. Now, uh, one thing you do have to be worried about or careful of is, say, uh, if I built this on the edge of the chunk and then put this one over, and if you're running around exploring and the water chunk gets unloaded, but this stays loaded, um, this won't be filling this up with water and you could have an explosion at that point. So it's good to have, make sure the water source is in the same chunk as uh, the boiler. Now we can just go ahead and enable that. I thought it was disabled, but apparently it was already enabled. So this should be all set up to produce steam. I did put some cobble roof over it just in case. I don't know if that is needed. Um, I don't think so, but don't quote me on that. But the thing that would explode would be this. Like these, if these were touching rain, it probably wouldn't explode, but the main controller or anything that carries electricity, like an energy hatch, um, if rain is coming down, like on the side of it, if it's touching the side, then it could possibly explode. Um, so I just covered that up temporarily. All right, that's that. So let me get the rest of my steel cooked up here. Yeah, I got 16, I got 10. Yeah, I need, I need some more oxygen. And then we will be back to test this out. And there's the steel. I found my empty cells. They were in my bags. I just was blind. Um, but I'm going to need those. So much steel. But uh, yeah. Totally just blanked on what I was doing there. Okay, I got my steel. Okay, I got everything, I think. I just need the rest of the pipes. This is quick enough. Now, I think that's enough. Alright, so this is the output and the inputs. I do need one last thing here, and that is a circuit board. And thankfully, it looks like I have. Shoot, I don't have everything I need for that. Just need some. Red alloy. And then I need to start getting into better resistors and stuff. Um, but so many different things to do. Getting my power sorted out is like a priority. I've been struggling with like one little thing of steam for a long time. And we will do that and. Um, I'm going to leave that for right this second. Now, I think I'm going to do that, do that. This is actually going to be gone. So I can actually just get rid of that. Because I'm using this now instead of that architect boiler. Um, this may get used. I don't really know if that's going to be used, but um, 
Question is, I may need to get on this side. And am I going to cut myself? Yep. <laughs> I cut myself on breaking the glass. That's funny. I don't know what mod adds that. But I guess we will we'll connect that. It looks silly, but oh well. And then shift right click that so it can only go one way. And then we will do the same with this. Connect that, and then we will shift, click on all those. Yeah, the only problem with the way I have this set up, I can't, oh, I can. I can actually access it fairly, um, but it's not being completely blocked. OK, so there is the steel pipes going down into there. Now, in theory, <laughs> we should be able to start this up. I have a whole bunch of. Compress coal coke here and everything. Now, actually, before I do that, I wonder if there's. Do I have any just coal? Just want some regular. Here's some lignite. So I can kind of demonstrate this. Now, if we look at. I think lignite would burn in this. Does it? We'll find out. Yeah, it burns. It only lasts a second, though. Um, so as we can see, it lasted just one second, the 1,200 burn time. So using this as like an actual power source is not the best, because it's going to go through that. And I, there's no way I can supply that enough. So what we're going to do is... If we add a program circuit, we can actually slow this down. Um, it didn't even get hot enough. As we can see, the efficiency, that's the temperature. Once it gets up to 100, it's full. Um, so we can actually slow down the blast furnace. If we look at the, boi or the boiler, not the blast furnace. Uh, if we look at, uh, where is it? Uh, a program circuit in the main block throttles the boiler, minus 1,000 per config. config. Um, and if we look at that, it is produces 32,000 steam. Or, yeah, 32 buckets of steam with one coal at 16 uh, liters a second. So if we put a config in, I think, say we do, what's this, five, can I do eight? Yeah, we'll do like eight. If we put this in here, it will lengthen the amount of time that this burns. I think, does it go in there? I can't remember where it goes. If we put it in there and then we put this lignite coal back in, it'll turn back on. Uh, maybe it has to go in there. Sometimes, I don't know. All right, let's try this again. Should turn on. Yeah. But that's still one second. Um, I wonder if it doesn't work for... Lignite. It may have to be, like, maybe Lignite doesn't do that. Um, why don't we try Cold Coke? I have four single ones here. So we'll take that out. We'll put one in. It lasts four seconds, which that is really slow or really fast. I'm not producing anywhere near enough. If we put Configuration 8, Cold Coke in there. Still four seconds. I swear this worked. Uh, maybe it has to be when it. Oh, I know what the problem is <laughs> that it's heating up and you can't. There's no throttling that, of course. Um. So I guess let's throw that cold coke in there. Get it heated up. 
as we can see that lasts 40 seconds. Now it's heating up. Uh, as we can see, it is, well, it's polluting, as we can see. I can't get around the back, just the way I have this set up. It's a bit awkward. Let's do that, but there we go. We can see it polluting. All right, so it's at 100%. So if I put more cold coke in here, it should take that, and then it should be longer than four seconds. Yeah, see, it's double the time because I have it throttled. Um, so what we're probably going to do is I don't think I need it to be that fast. It may throttle it even more. How about we try like 16? And then we will we'll test how we'll test I gotta test like how many like what is the ideal what am I going through that is a good thing. I wanna have this throttled as much as I can. So um let's do I guess the best way would be to do a twenty-four. We'll see if that even yeah. So we'll do config 24. Unfortunately, I'm wasting a bunch of fuel here by letting this turn on and off. Um, I really don't want to use like that while it's heating up. Do I have... Yeah, I have some lignites. Uh, why don't I... You know what, let's just, now let me go get some more coal and then we will see how this uh, kind of figures out. All right, just kidding. I had coal coke or coal dust and I didn't realize this actually burnt. So we'll just put a bunch of that in there. Uh, the coal dust lasts two seconds, um, but it does heat up slower than coal coke. It's weird that it has like that and then it turns off. Um, I keep changing the, the the material that I'm using here, so that's not the best. Um, but once this hits 100, it should change. There we go. So this is 16 times. Um, so now one of these lasts 32 seconds. Uh, one piece of coal. And as we can see, uh, we're not producing a whole lot of steam here, unfortunately, because we have it throttled so much. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out what, uh, what's like a good uh, thing, because I have this throttled down almost like, or it's producing almost nothing. And it can produce a lot, but uh, I have it, yeah, it's doing about 400, so... Why don't we try uh, one last time really quick before that like burns through all that. Why don't we try 16? Um, and like I said, we will we'll test this out and I'll have to figure out what the best number is here. So we'll throw that in there, and yeah, I'd have it throttled as much as possible. So it looks like, yeah, so it's 32 seconds again. Okay, so that does make sense if we looked at the tooltip. Yeah, it throttles it minus one, so I have it throttled as much as possible. With 16, it only produces 16,000 uh, liters per second with coal. So maybe if I switch that back. And I think there is actually, I think I saw an easier way to do these circuits. Um, I'll have to check that out. So how about we do, if it's 16,000, how about we do, 
How about we do 13? That will be 3,000 liters a second, and we'll see what happens. All right, so now this lasts every 10 seconds uh, per one call, and as we can see, we're producing quite a bit more steam. Um, but anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, obviously, I'm going to have to take some time to sort out what is the ideal uh, ratio here, like what does this pull if this is running kind of thing. Um, I guess, well, if you think about it, it is two millibuckets of steam for one EU. These produce 128, so 256 a tick. Um, 20 ticks in a second, so 256 times 2 is about 5,000. I need to be producing about 5,000 uh, millibuckets of steam per second uh, to supply this constantly with steam. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to be doing that. I may, um, since I have such a, a tank, like I can store it up. I don't need to have it going that fast, um, but we shall see. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching, and have a good one.